Hello, welcome to my video series where I explain biotechnics within 5 minutes. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, why you are waiting for, please subscribe. So today's topic is chip seek or chromatin immunoprecipitation followed by sequencing. So this is used to study DNA protein interaction in vitro or in vivo. So let's say we have identified a noble transcription factor and we don't know that what this transcription factor regulates or what gene does it transcribe. So first question we should ask that which gene does it regulate? In order to do that, we have to do some technique. And inside the cell nucleus, there is chromatin. Our transcription factor binds somewhere in the chromatin region and transcribe a specific gene. Or it might regulate a lot of gene, a plethora of gene. So we don't know that. In order to understand which genes or which sequences is bind to, we have to do some technique known as chip seek. In this chip seek, let's say our transcription factor is bind to its desired DNA sequence. So we would shear the DNA such that the chromatin would be fragmented and we would use an antibody against that transcription factor and couple that antibody with a sephiros or a magnetic bead. After that, that particular pull down fraction could be pulled down using a centrifuge or a magnetic separation if it is a magnetic bead. Now what is left after pulling down with the bead is the pull down fraction. And definitely we can take out the pull down fraction with the pipette and after that this pull down fraction is processed and loaded onto DNA sequencing machine. And DNA sequencing would give you a readout in forms of sequences. So here is a brief readout. So it would read all the sequences associated with that pull down fraction. And it would align those sequences with the known sequences of the genome. And we would get a signaling peak, which suggests that that particular sequence is present ample amount in the pull down sequence. For example, here you can see three boxes, three re representing three short sequences, which are enriched in this particular pull down fraction. That in turn tells you that these transcription factor binds or enriched in those DNA se sequences or otherwise those are the regulatory elements where these novel transcription factor binds. Now a global approach is chip sequencing but if you do a, want to do a local approach you can also do a chip qPCR where you have the pull down fraction from the pull down fraction you qPCR for a specific gene of interest. Now out of many genes or gene fragments that are pulled down using the bead, if your gene of interest is there, it should be detected in real-time PCR. And that is how you would detect whether the gene of interest is present in the pull-down fraction or not. That would give you an idea in turn that whether the transcription factor binds to that specific gene of interest or not. So if you like my video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to share, subscribe and like. Thank you.